shout out to the white people that's listening. Hey, <laughs> hey, <laughs> y'all, this on the podcast. I'm, I'm sorry, the girl, Europe, fuck you. The Europeans Dang, that's, already. Okay, yeah, that's yeah. how we start the show out. Yep. Shout out to the Europeans that uh, are my co-host. Girl, hey, fuck y'all. you. <laughs> Hello, everyone. <laughs> Uh, that that wasn't a dear white people type no. of do it again, try it again. No, I didn't make it. You didn't make it. Try it again. You didn't pass. Oh dang. I got a pass. Hello, everyone. No, Denise, no. you try. Oh no. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Denise has to put on her professional voice <clears throat> often. So good evening, everyone. She sounds like a principal. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> right. Anywho, could you imagine that principal? <laughs> she was the one that was being like, uh, don't be in here smoking no weed, but give me a little bit, real quick. Just a little right. bit. Just I leave it on my desk. No, really. Denise is the one who will confiscate the weed. Yeah. And yep. get highly upset that it's mid. Facts. Oh. <laughs> I'm a square. I don't know what that means. It's that shit wasn't hidden. It wasn't the best. Okay. I think I'm a triangle. Anyways. Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to another episode of, should I say DNR or do not resuscitate? Either way, still listen. We are hope that you all are enjoying your week, your weekend, whatever it may be. And we hope that you hear something that makes you want to come back or stay. Make sure you're following us on Instagram. Do we got a Facebook, Denise? Not yet. I'm working so, yeah. on it. F- follow us on Instagram. Do we got a TikTok? We absolutely do. Follow us on TikTok. I don't know how to work the shit because I'm old. But it's yeah. DNR podcast on TikTok. There you go. I would tell you what it is on Instagram, but I will be lying if I knew it for sure. I'm pretty sure it's DNR podcast. It is three underscores. Listen to them. Listen to the listen to the European people because the black one doesn't know anything. <laughs> That's right. Leave it up to the white people to have it all together. <laughs> Until I get my reparations, I ain't got shit together. Okay, period. If you get reparations, what you gonna do? You gonna buy like stock, like some Newport Cadillac? <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, that's a good question. So, if we was to actually get our reparations, what we gonna what we gonna spend that shit on? I want new teeth. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I've been saying this since the P three podcast. I want new teeth. What's wrong? What's wrong with your teeth now? <laughs> I'm missing the one everybody else. Been. <laughs> Anyways, we should probably introduce ourselves for those that are just now joining us. Go ahead. Hey, y'all. If you're just now joining us, I am Denise, the DNDNR podcast, your favorite redhead. What's up, everybody? I'm Nicole. I'm the NNDNR, and the N this week is standing for I'm not going to play with you. And ain't. Okay, um, now that we let the, <laughs> the European people go first and the niggers are at the end. Hi, everyone. I am Ruthia, the sweet one. Now Lies. you all here lying. You're going to start the podcast just lying. We've been talking for a good five minutes. They they clearly know I'm lying. At this point. <laughs> Anywho, that's true. You Tori said me. you buying side teeth now? Oh, hell <laughs> yeah, unless you want to uh, buy it for me. He got it. Like, he was late. He making money. That's what you got to do, right? Dropping the hat for him. I mean, if you're going to buy me a tooth, like, I want all of them done, not just the side. I was just, you know. Man, I saw this doctor down in Memphis, Dr. Q. He's he he cost was, you was he fine or something? Yeah. Because she was like, for she sure. put her phone down like, I've seen this one time. Like, man, right? but she put like, her, when you she see put on her sexy voice. Yes, Dr. Q. Hey, Dr. Q. No. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. But no, seriously. We'll talk about that later. He ain't broke. Anywho, church announcements or check-ins. Yeah, we just want to check in and see how everybody doing. Denise, how was your week? Well, so far. Right. It's only Tuesday. My week ain't been bad. Ain't nothing going on. This this is my first outing this week. (laughs) So, or I'm sorry, wait. We did. We did have a, a impromptu DNR meeting on Saturday. Nicole, you were absent. Oh, my fault. I ain't know nothing about it. Just Don't like worry, last we week, y'all asleep. wore those classic shirts and didn't tell me. So I guess. <laughs> that was two weeks ago. Okay. Yeah. So I see how this is about to go, but that's cool. We we'll, we'll work that all off. Well, then talk about Mike. these two weirdos <laughs> for wearing classic <laughs> green sweaters again. Hey, this shit wasn't planned. Okay. First of all, I've always been a classic. Tone just rubbed his nipple on the sleeve. 
<laughs> you said I've always been a classic. <laughs> My eyes. <laughs> and Ruthie, how your week so far? Filled with blessings. First giving out of the guy who's ahead of my life. <laughs> That's what that sounded like. Wait, wait, wait. That's what the black people say. Ma'am. <laughs> no, but I've been I've been say. literally like having like blessings on top of blessings. And it's been feeling really good. I'm in a great mental space and I am setting up to be booked for the rest of the year. So I'm ending my okay. year with a bang. Got a couple kinks and stuff to work out, some negoti negotiations and some contracts, please. Yeah. Booked and busy okay. all 2023? I said the end of the year. I didn't okay. say well, nothing. Cause I'm, she mm. just speaking it into you. See what you speak until you speak what you see until you see lazy. what you speak. No, no. I mean, unless the contract, I'm buying me some new tea. <laughs> Here I mean, you go. You know, you'll never know. You got to keep putting that work in. And get it. I'm a lazy health, so well, you got us. I'm an easy. Oh, oh, oh okay. Well, okay. there's that. All right. Good to know. <laughs> right. <laughs> Thank you for keep that, that in my roll of You know, y'all know I'm boring. Y'all, know me. We gonna have to change that real. That's okay. Right Cause huh, listen, give me about 10, 15 minutes. <laughs> what you gonna do in 10 to 10, 10 15 minutes? Like? Oh, that's just the intro. Don't worry about it. That's all I need. 10 15 years. I ain't doing no more. Wait, what are we talking about? The the you European is cutting. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why are y'all acting like this? Why are y'all acting black? <laughs> because we just, you know, we've been still in the culture. What's wrong? Like, Type it's not shit. new. <laughs> culture vulture at its finest. As she wears a classic fucking hoodie. Well, but ain't that what they do? Think about they all had them Black Lives Matter sign and they know so think about them saying the Kardashians said they invented cornrows. Fuck them hoes. Oh. <laughs> all right. Anyway, so, <laughs> so yeah, we not even we not even going to talk about them on our show. Mm -hmm. Um, so tonight's topic is gonna be have you ever been DNR'd? I wish a motherfucker would. It didn't happen. <laughs> okay. So, so has somebody ever go ahead? Do not resuscitate you. Be like you cut off. Canceled. Beep. You cut off. No. Have you ever been fired? That's called being <laughs> 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 you could have been fired from friendship. You could have been fired from a job. Literally. I think I've been fired as a parent before. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think so maybe relationship. Fired. No, niggas don't dump me. Yeah, you ain't dumping me because if you die, I kill you. <laughs> I you die, get, I kill you, ho. I don't get dumped. Yeah, I'll put that Ike on you. I ain't, let me not lie. I probably <laughs> have been dumped before. I have been dumped. Okay, so but he's still you start us. But, he, but he's still in my inbox and he's still trying to get me back. So tell us about the time you got DNR'd and how did that make you feel? So Andre, right? Oh, oh, we say his calling name? out names. Okay. It ain't like we don't have this conversation often. He ain't. What's up, Andre? She putting all your business out there. But I said, I'm, and I said his government name. Most people don't know him by his government name. Anywho, Andre was a good friend who we both was interested in, like making it into a relationship. But of course, I was like, I don't know if I'm really fucking with him like that. And then, so we he put in. I'm gonna say he put in a lot of work and a lot of effort to do the relationship part right and then we started dating we dated for a couple months and yeah that was it so y'all dated for a couple of months and then what happened he wasn't feeling like he he didn't he, he blocked you like what <laughs> like you, like you, he just you used to clip one day like, like he said he, he ghosted you but in his defense because i was like on his ass like first of all how you put in all that fucking effort and then be like all right it don't work but he didn't say it didn't work he said that his mental space. And I understood what he was saying because, of course, as a black woman, we want to create these spaces for black men. But the fuck you think you are? So, anywho, he um, had some situations going on in his uh, family life, um, his co-parenting situation, and he mentally just was not prepared to be in a relationship. But it took him two months to process those emotions for himself in order to tell me that that's what he was dealing with. I had already knew, but it was like, so you just gone 
stop. Like he just stopped communicating. So why do people step to other people in an effort to get in a relationship knowing I don't that they're not emotionally it wasn't it was he was available in Initially. the beginning and then something drastic happened and then it was like he was just like I need some time that was a text message I just need some time and I'm like okay I'm gonna give him a couple of days all right cool and then those couple of days turned into a week and I'm like how are you doing like are you okay because I knew what he was dealing with but it took him a couple months to process those emotions for himself and then to be like, yeah, I just, I'm not prepared for a relationship. I mean, so I else guess I that would be the only person the honesty. that the only person that got away with <laughs> dumping me. I don't know if that's really getting DNR though. However, <clears throat> he's still in my inbox. because he. So you back. didn't get DNR. You got resuscitated. He's trying. <laughs> right. So she got DNR first, and now I said he's trying. No. He's trying to resuscitate. His head game it. was good. Oh. oh, okay. Well, I mean, that's a plenty <laughs> reason. Right. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, no. to be resuscitated. I mean, he had other great <laughs> qualities. He was, you know, an entrepreneur. He worked a real good job. He was a go getter, but his head was great. Matter of fact. Yeah, go on now. Shoot that inbox. Hey, big kid. <laughs> go on and shoot that message. Hey, big kid. What about you, Denise? Um, yeah, probably. probably guess we've been DNR from a job. <laughs> that was like, yeah, no, your your services are no longer needed. <laughs> oh shit. Okay. Well, I mean, on to the next one. That's that's um, rough. I got DNR from a job. But I had to tell y'all the backstory before I tell y'all about right, this. The Let me see so, my behavior kid while you talking. So I worked at this uh, company. I'm not going to name the company. <clears throat> oh, I, I dropped names. And uh, but, oh, yeah, you're right. So I worked at Johnson Control. <laughs> <laughs> Hated that job. Every single day I was miserable. And we had this one, we had a couple managers. We had this one black lady, a black Dorothy. And she was, was a that? black <laughs> Dorothy. <laughs> <laughs> so she will always wanted to be the head nigga in charge. So any black person that was moving up in the company, she would figure out a way to um, to sabotage them. Then we had the other Dorothy, the white Dorothy, oh, and she was okay. just nasty. You know, like she was the one that go to the bathroom, would wash her hands, be typing on your computer, or oh, no. stuff or whatever. Y'all know, you know, my filter is negative, so I would say stuff. So then that's also the time when I was. Um, I had stopped getting perms and I was going back to my natural hair. Mm -hmm. And so Dorothy, black Dorothy, would say that it wasn't appropriate for her name wasn't America. Dorothea. No, it was Dorothy. And um, she said that my what was her parents thinking? I don't know. She said that my hair was not appropriate for corporate America. So me being, I think I was probably like 23, 24, I told her that. Brown. Fuck off. No, I told her that <laughs> brown lip liner, <laughs> pink lipstick was not appropriate well. for anywhere. And then, <laughs> <laughs> so then Dorothy, the white Dorothy, came to my desk one day, wanted to do, show me something on my computer. And when she got done, she was like, well, I need you to do this. And I wouldn't do it. And then she was like, well, well why? I said, because you touch my keyboard and you don't show <laughs> So, um, yeah, I can't touch it because it's dirty. So well, I we got to reintroduce Nicole as the <laughs> unfiltered one. So she, she, I think she introduced herself that on the first episode. About two weeks after that, I had came to work and it was a box on my chair. Pack <laughs> 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 your shit up. And they was like, um, they Heck they want to see shit. you in HR. And I was like, all right. So I go down to HR and they tell me I'm fired. <laughs> they don't got no Do job. Sit down. Did you did you get your box? <laughs> did you put yeah, your shit so in there? So while yet? while they sent me to HR, they was back there packing my box. I was like, I'm cool as long as Dorothy, dirty ass, don't be <laughs> packing my box. I'm cool. You know what I'm saying? So well, yeah. But I was happy, and then and, you know, of course, on the way out, I said a couple words to my um my supervisor because he was a punk, and that's what I told him. I was like, you didn't even stand up for us, but you know. Whatever. So yeah, I got real good in DNR up at John's control. <laughs> so hey, it is what it is. Dang. But that was the best six of my six months of my life. I was off with my kids. I could take them to school. I could cook. And oh, you you. Oh, she wanted them. 
<laughs> yep. I don't be wanting to take Tyler to school. Ever. Yeah, but see, here's the thing, though. Ever. When you take them to school, they at school. You at home by yourself. No, 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 no. <laughs> I don't be wanting to be the one to actually drive him. But he's leaving. <laughs> you going? Sure. You going to school? Shout out to the grandmas that be dropping the kids off at school. Shout your out. your dream, because <clears throat> he ain't getting his ugly ass in my car in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do something like that. Once again, he's not getting, <laughs> she said, "I said what I said." Now he can get in there tomorrow morning to warm it up, but once I come to the car, he got to get out. Wow! Oh, wow! That's rough. No, it's not. He can warm up the car, but he can't get in the car to, for you to drive him to school? No, because I work in the opposite direction You'd be cold of this fool. Me if I, was <laughs> I, I was cold you this morning, cold. and I text mm-hmm. him like, so I told you it was snowing, and you didn't get up to warm my car? He was like, well, you was already dressed when I got up, so. Oh, what? Well, so that's on you. said you, you could have warmed it up mm-hmm. just here. Well, he pulled a U on you. Yeah, he pulled a U I don't be liking when he be doing that, though. Like, I mean, he is a little mini U. You know, he act like his daddy. Um, Ruthia, you do understand that the first step to getting help is admitting <laughs> there's a problem, right? I know I'm you the told problem. told two lies since we started. I am. I mean, I'm, the, I'm the drama. I get that. I get that. I am the drama. However, he ain't old enough to, you know, be me. He might be tall enough because we. He, he, yeah, y'all like saying eye to eye now. No, he definitely taller than me. Oh. But just good enough so when I reach, I can punch him in the throat. No, I get that. My son is 6'5", and you know he right there. He get that jab right there in them nuts. Nah, nah how right. she look. You see how she's looking at you? <laughs> yes, I see her. Did I meet this son yet? Yes, you did. I met him? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Put up his picture. His <laughs> daughter came to the camp. I remember her. Yeah. She was a sweetie. But... Pull up her daddy picture. Yeah, no, we're good. We're going on <laughs> Not pulling her daddy picture. <laughs> next question. I mean, I, it's cuffing season. I'm. He don't. I'm sorry, baby. He moved to DC last year. That's fine. I got frequent. No, I don't. Let me not. <laughs> <laughs> you spend a lot that quick. That'd be lie number three. It, it's probably lie number six. Y'all just say <laughs> catch the other ones, but it's cool. <laughs> it's cool. It's good entertainment. All right, so Ruthia, um, have you ever thought that someone pulled the plug on you, but it was actually a miscommunication? Yes. <laughs> yes. I'm a conclusion jumper. Like, don't leave me on red. Don't, because I'm going to feel like you want to fight me. Like, if I know you read the message, I'm telling everybody, like, she do not fuck with me no more. Like, I don't know what the fuck the problem is, but if she want to fight, we could fight. I'm not really going to fight because my knees is getting bad. But still... It's just, I'm a conclusion um, jumper. Like, I'm double texting. Because don't leave me on red. The fuck? What are you doing? Respond to me. I Clearly, you read the message. So, what are you doing? I'm not. I just I'm jumping to conclusions. Jumping head first off the diving board. So, I'm in the situation now, right? <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. No, it's not. I probably should. Well, no, I'm not. I'm not going to lie and say I'm going to reach out again. Because a situation with my best friend, it was some bullshit in the mix. And I don't know if I was in the wrong or if she was in the wrong, but after the, the answer is yes. Ha- okay, so let me tell the full story. I was going to be, you know, a little chill with it, but I was having an issue with one of my best friends. And so I was feeling some type of way about friendships. I need you to be loyal to me as I am to you. And in the situation, <laughs> which I was trying to say, I'm not a loyal no. friend. You know what I'm going through right now. Why would you say that? <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> but, no, but for real, like I was having an issue with one friend and I had expressed that to my other friend. And for a friend of mine that does not live in the state of Wisconsin and I talked to them within that time frame and for them to be in the state of Wisconsin and not tell me and then you pull up to an event that I'm at I felt some type of way like we talked yesterday you was here yeah but I'm just in and out but you're in the same club that I'm in you didn't think to say that I got a good 10 minutes you're in my city for 
a weekend. You didn't feel like I felt some type of way that she didn't connect with me or at least express to me that she was like, we could have went to breakfast, lunch, dinner, whatever. And I felt some type of way, especially because I was already having an issue with another friend. Mm -hmm. So when she didn't reach out to me, I took it personal. I'm a conclusion jumper. But in the moment, I probably was taking stuff out on her that I should have been expressing with another person. Mm -hmm. So after the fact, I did take the time to go and be like, you know what? This is what I was feeling in that moment. Let me explain to you why I did what I did. And, you know, what I'm saying? we can go from there. She read my message and I'm not one to apologize often. She read my message and did not respond. So at the time, I'm like, all right, cool. She didn't respond. Maybe she's still at work. She is, um, I don't even, is she CFO or something? Like she she big time at her company. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, all right, cool. Maybe she seen that I messaged her. She looked at it but didn't get a chance to respond because she's at work. I gave her time. 24 hours to be exact. And she never <laughs> responded. 24 hours to be exact. And from after that 24 hours of me sending that message and knowing that she's seen it, that's been a couple of months now. We have not talked. So to me, I feel like she put the plug on our friendship. And this is a friendship that's 15 plus years old. Mm -hmm. So I could be jumping to a conclusion, but I also feel like I'm not going to reach back out after I've already reached out to you explaining where I felt like you wronged me yet and how I could hold myself accountable in that same situation. Like I probably overreacted. It's a good chance that I did. It was other people in the club that I didn't fucking like, and they was bothering me too. So it is what it is. But for you to just not talk to me at all, I feel like she is DNR in the friendship. I definitely had somebody DNR our friendship. And while I could probably understand why it happened, like, I ain't there giving a, that whole no motherfucking credit for that. <laughs> there was a situation that happened, and I could have been wrong, but if you felt some type of way, come talk to me about it. We both grown. Have a conversation. So she, def she definitely DNR'd our friendship. Changed her number and didn't give it to me. I had to find out oh, on I accident and shit. Before. Like, oh, did you, did you change your number? And it was, yeah, instead of, yeah, here go my new number. <laughs> Oh, she definitely pulled the plug on you. See, I'm still definitely. in that balance of I don't know because she still be like oh, liking no, I my definitely. posts and shit. I oh, we're friends on we're friends on social media. We're just not actual friends anymore. But she act like we fucked or something, and I ain't call her back. <laughs> That's how she acted. And for the record, we we did not sleep together. <laughs> okay, because you know she is gay, but we we didn't rub coochies. <laughs> I have to put that information out there because people think that we have and we haven't. You can do whatever you want to do. <laughs> I didn't do any of those things with her. Just well, saying. I think I was recently DNR'd. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely was. Um, yeah. As I'm checking my account. Right. <laughs> still, Definitely no, still no, still no ding was DNR'd. from my cash app. From someone who I guess I thought was a friend, but you know, you you said something that triggered me <laughs> when you <laughs> said how I'm gonna be, I'm being loyal to you, but you're not being loyal to me. You know, that's that's something that that bothers me because I'm definitely did he just dance in his chair because yes, he because he <laughs> I'm definitely loyal. You know, once we friends, we friends, and I I try to do everything to make that friendship work. But you know, when you start mistreating me and Shading me and posting stuff and all of that. Because we'll be playing Call of Duty, your dog will realize he got a text message like 20, 30 minutes ago. <laughs> Tori be leaving people on red on accident. I don't know. <laughs> I can believe that. On accident. I don't know. Finish your story, yeah. child. Cause... No, I'm just saying. I'm still a little sensitive about it. I can tell because your voice got It's on. fairly recent and I'm trying to figure out how to. How to handle it. I think I'm probably more hurt than I am mad. Whoop, they ass. That's the solution. No, don't do that. And tell them mine, that's the solution for everything. <laughs> knowing knowing the situation, I'm going to say don't do that. No, I I won't do it. You know, I'm trying to, um, to be, um, what's the word? 
I don't want not professional because it's not the word. <laughs> I'm trying to be civil. The civil about the yeah i'm trying to be the bigger person when really in fact i want to like blast it all out there you know i did it a little bit today i did do a little bit of pettiness but oh, yeah, know, it was which. part in the <laughs> speaking of let me so, go see if i yeah, can go see so that so i did a little pettiness but um in this case I, it's not a miscommunication although i know that this person will come back around and try to say it was a miscommunication no it was not a miscommunication you was listening to other people about me you took they word over, you know, what I said happened, and that's that. And so, you know, it is what it is. Of course, this too shall pass, and I'll be fine because, you know, I'm going to still make it do what it do. But meanwhile, you you messing up your name. <laughs> out here around, in these streets. All, out oh, here in these streets. So, oh, you know, it's like streets. some flashes leaning over out here in these streets. It's straight Ooh, up. Some Plus, it's leaving, leaning over. He's throwing up gang signs. I'm just saying. He's throwing up gang signs. Like, just all types of stuff going on. Okay. Yeah. So I was not ready for this. <laughs> <laughs> so no, we, 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 we <laughs> being petty. <laughs> we read the, the question because I know I got to know <laughs> So the question is, have you ever thought someone pulled the plug on you, but it was actually a miscommunication? I've had that in a lot of my friendships because I'm so sensitive about who I consider to be friends with. Like, and I'm territorial. Yeah. <laughs> don't, see, don't, you can't be my friend and then say you got other friends. The see, fuck? that don't bother me because I, I feel like, I like I said before, mm. I'm going to ride with you and I'm going to let you 100% be you, you know, but don't mistreat me because then you're gonna find out that about that other side that you really don't want to meet because i'm already i'm mean i'm already mean as ever so when i'm good really? to you and i'm nice to you you mean yeah hell yeah she mean i don't get that from nicole that's because i like you i was to say it's just the if she i likes like you us. or if i love you she or said I me care she didn't you. say nothing about you <laughs> tom records this girl fuck you <laughs> Just it's like that's how I am. You gonna get the me that cares about mm -hmm. you, but if you start messing over me, then you gonna get a whole nother side of me that you gonna be like, oh, I ain't know nothing about that, and you really don't want to know nothing about that. You know, like right now, let me be Nicole, because mm. if I turn into Nakisha, oh you got hell, a whole problem on your hands. That's Wait, <laughs> she was right. European. So what kind of right? So if I turn what kind of on you, then you already know. So oh. it's like so I, I don't like to be vulnerable. I don't like to you know what I'm saying to lay everything out. So when I get that way with you, where I am vulnerable with you and I trust you and all of those things, and then you play me, it's all bad. Mm. Oh. I've had people be in army, or I think I provoked the DNR on purpose. Oh, yeah, because oh, yeah. it was for my protection Absolutely. though. Like I, I made them think it was their idea, mm -hmm. like to like mm -hmm. split ties or part ways. But it was like that was for me. So that's like, good. That's the next question. And have you ever provoked a DNR? I definitely have <laughs> in friendship, and it wasn't necessarily something that I thought would be permanent. Um, but it was like right now you're you're toxic to me, and I mm -hmm. needed to push away for my mental um friendships relationships whatever it may be but it was just like i had a friend who what you i don't know if you told me this on the pilot or if you told me this on the uh, last episode you only gonna give me two and a half times to help me pack up my shit i was consistently helping this girl get away from people and mm -hmm. the same person and it was kids involved and it was just like I can't have your kids calling me in the middle of the night saying mommy getting a whooping and because now I'm putting myself and my child in danger mm -hmm. so I started not answering the phone and they fuck you and this is that and it was just like yep I need that I need you to one pull away from me and I also mm -hmm. need you to be mean to me so I can feel like we're not good friends right. so it can be my protection because there has been times where it was just like dang I really want to know how she's doing but at the same time it was like you know what I need to be comfortable with me and safe with me in my life because listen 
I mean, people crazy. Think about it. It's a girl down. I think she was down there in Racine. Her friend kept help, helping her get away from her man, and he went back and killed her. Mm-hmm. So yeah, you can't. Yeah, mm-hmm. you can't be getting involved in stuff like that. Seriously. Yeah, that'd be. It'd be more dangerous for the people on the outside. Yeah, the people helping. That's right. yeah, that's true. So you don't want me to grab her hair ties? You. So we'll just buy her some more with the hair stuff. Like, yeah, it gets serious. But yeah, I've definitely provoked a DNR. I've definitely tried to provoke something that just never fucking happened either. Some people just don't go away. They're like like right nostrils. Right? <laughs> nostrils would not fucking go away. Like, damn. Oh, my God. <laughs> baby we, hands wouldn't go away. Okay, so. Oh, wait. not baby hands. So oh, I, give, I give most people, most guys, a fucking Leather couch. So there's leather couch. We'll discuss him in another episode. Um, there's baby hands. Oh, there's red shirt. Oh, yep. I, I, I remember red shirt. <laughs> there, so wait, we got nostrils, baby hands, red shirt, leather couch. Yeah. I'm it's sure some are, I'm about to say, I'm sure some are going <laughs> to pop up down the line. <laughs> yeah, some people, they like roaches. They don't go away. Right? <laughs> <laughs> like we'll die, we multiply. They just will just not. They these kids. <laughs> when, 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 when the club away. lights come on and they still they don't care. They just like, hey, oh, man. shout out to my cousin Candace. Who ain't leave the club? <laughs> <laughs> who won't leave the club when the lights on? <laughs> oh, it's man. time to go. You you see the lights on. See, they played the last song. Let's when go. I used to. <laughs> Let me be very clear. I worked in a club. It was not a strip club, and I was not a stripper. But when I worked in the club, mm. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> we would literally like all the workers. We would literally go on one side of the club, and we would just like line sweep. up, mm-hmm. and we would. No, I wasn't sweeping shit. I mean, not sweep. I'm talking about. No, like, they would have brooms, but not me. No, and not we the sweep. sweep. <laughs> no, but they would actually have brooms too. Oh, and we would like literally like push them out. Get the fuck out. I got shit to do at home. Like, me, oh boy. <laughs> I was like, shit I, to do or right. people to do. Did I just charge Who extra for mean? that bottle of nostrils? <laughs> Red <Richard. laughs> <Another couch, laughs> What's she baby called? Baby hands. <laughs> baby hands. <laughs> I would say his name, but I'm pretty sure he's a felon now. Oh, okay. He well, might be on the run. Don't say his name. <laughs> he might be on the run. <laughs> don't say some shit that happened at the club. Name. <laughs> but yeah, I had charged him extra for a bottle anyway. So know. you had to pay him back? Hell no. <laughs> he he didn't fucking care. He could have went to the bar and got his own bottle of Patron, but he wanted to get it from me, so I'm not going to charge you $100. I'm going to charge you 120 I just had a fucking baby. I need extra money in my pocket. Right. Yep. When you, you work go. in a club, you are working for fucking peanuts. Yeah. So it's a hustle. I'm going to wear these extra tight jeans and this little low-cut shirt. You're going to get these minus A cups. And minus gonna, A cups. You're going to pay a little extra. Her. What? I'm just saying. It happens. <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah, because diapers was not fucking cheap. Man, I, I know Denise days. got a story of a time she done provoked. Yes, I don't. I don't provoke nothing. <laughs> <laughs> we all. <laughs> <laughs> what? Hmm. Okay, look. So I probably did provoke something. I just can't I'm remember certain. right off. I just can't remember right off hand. I mean, shit. If y'all know. Tell it, I don't care. Y'all, y'all know something I don't. I know for a fact that she have. I don't know him personally, but I'm just saying, if you're saying that you can't think of a time that you provoke something, then that gives me the idea that you be the one that's hanging on for dear life. Like, I could be a little clingy. <laughs> nah, she provokes some. Re- refresh her memory. <laughs> I don't know, but I'm just saying, like, I could be a little clingy. I've been the one DNR because <laughs> too clean. They well, like see, watch out, fan. <laughs> I be getting. I I probably provoke stuff because um, or maybe that's why I provoked it because I'm insensitive because you're too. clean, right? <laughs> Do be like it's day two, so you want to get married? You want to get married? <laughs> Do you like dogs? Right. <laughs> right. So mm-hmm. you you say you want me to. You want me to bring your body wash up here? You want to plug your PlayStation up? What you want for dinner tonight? Dude, so right. I got the ox cord for you. 
Don't. I cleaned out an extra drawer. Right. <laughs> Listen, don't I cleaned bring, out space in the closet for you. <laughs> don't bring shit to my house that you plan on coming back to get because it's probably in the garbage or son <laughs> probably liked it. It's his now. If it was a hoodie, it's mine's now. Yeah. I definitely, oh, I'm definitely still a hoodies. See, I probably provoke because I'm insensitive. I'll be like, don't don't you got somewhere to go? <laughs> don't you got something to do? <laughs> like, I'll see you later. You know what I mean? Like, I'm that person. Like, I don't, I don't need all of that. I don't need to be with you seven days a week. I really don't need to be with you five days a week. <laughs> Give me like a good Denise say though. Sh- a good two, <laughs> maybe a good two days. You know what I mean? Where, where we hanging out and we but that's about it. And so I've had men say, like, you're you're really insensitive. Like, you cold. You just, you really don't care. A lot of people care. tell me I'm mean. I mean, I'm mean, but I just don't, I don't care. Or a lot of people care, will but, ask me, like, how are you in a relationship? Because, like, you mean as fuck. And I'm like, I'm really not. I don't think I am. When now, what I mean, I, I mean on purpose. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, the, the fact of the matter was I just, I didn't like him. And he wouldn't go away. <clears throat> so, Baby hands. Yeah. So I just be like, I'm busy or, you know. All the excuses. All the um, excuses. I got to I gotta go do this. I got to go do that. Um, I'm not available because. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm not even going to share that story. Go ahead. You didn't say yeah, it out loud now, so, so go ahead. Give it to us. Story time. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> so I really didn't like baby hands. Like That's obvious. So, okay, wait, let me let me take it back, right? <clears throat> I met Baby Hands in the club, and he's a fucking baby. But it was a situation where he tried to talk to me, and I was just like, oh, he's cute, he's dressed well, you know, whatever. And I would have never known his age if he had not told me, because he presented himself very well. But some random-ass African was trying to talk to me, and then some random-ass white dude was trying to talk to me, and then... Baby hands just happened to be standing over there, and I was like getting ready to tell my lie, like my nigga here. And I turned around, and baby hands there he was, and I was like, "That's him right there." And I'm like, "Babe, come here." So that's how we started talking, right? <laughs> <Worst fucking decision. laughs> but no, for real, like he was cool, but he was clingy. And he, I, I honestly feel like he was looking for another place to stay, and that no oh, man has ever mm-hmm. lived with me, ever. Um, and he kept on saying, like, if I'm, we gonna be together, I wanna, I wanna live here. What? Mm-hmm. We not together. Like, we went on a couple of dates, my guy. Like, that's it. And I used to do stupid shit, like, so I was bored, and I was like, all right, we gonna sleep together, right? Because I wanted to see, and he bust out them baby hands. <laughs> He thought he was doing something. He talked about some, oh, you running. No, I'm no. literally running, running trying because, to get away from No, you. this ain't it. I was doing all of the things to make him not like me. Like, not wearing makeup, leaving my hair. Well, my hair ain't never really been nappy, but, like, just doing bullshit. And he just did not fucking care. And I called him baby hands in his face. <laughs> so He's still in my inbox. Baby hands, <clears throat> baby feet, baby. <laughs> Listen, he he dead ass like will put me on the phone and his friends would be there and be like, bro, that's her. She fun. I used to be like, hey, how old is you? What what you like? I was flirting with his friends. Damn, and he still didn't care. And he's no, still in my I inbox. Oh, yeah, well. yeah, I was about to have a party. No, young, no. he was like getting mad, like. Don't don't try to talk to my girl like this, my woman for real. And I was like, but I'm not. Ooh, child. I was just, saying it out loud, like, but I'm not. Like I'm finna tell you how long ago he just messaged me. Thank you. Was that so long? Oh, baby <laughs> hands. <laughs> All right. So on to our November next night was the last time he messaged. Oh, that was just a couple days. Ago. Right. Exactly. Ago. He wanted to know if I'm still <laughs> in a relationship. <laughs> <laughs> I've been in the same relationship for a long time. <clears throat> I'm about to get married. Okay, well, he could be the flower boy. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> the flower boy. Hey, it is a video of a flower boy. That shit was cracking. Yeah, he could be the flower boy at the wedding. 
He gonna cry. He gonna cry. Ain't no gender roles and flowers. Sure ain't. All right. He ain't Not invited. The fuck. He gonna, he gonna be like the way. <laughs> coming to get coming to get his woman. Yep. Anybody I marry gonna have to be a fucking thug, and they can have pistol on the hip at the altar. Boom. Dang, that sounds so sexy. No, <laughs> you know what? Like, come that's on. so sexy. I want the pistol, pistol on, on hip. hip mm. Correct. The wedding, yes. because I need you. Talk and about I, protection. I need, that's okay. what I'm talking about. Talk I need about something heavy. I'm rough, so yeah. you gonna have to be rough. You gonna have to be a little rough for me. You have to handle me because I get, listen. I'll be out there. You have to tell me I need you to hey listen, get your ass respectfully. respectfully. Okay, seriously. <laughs> okay, I'm yeah. gonna roll my eyes or whatever, but I'm gonna do this shit. Yeah. Right. I'll be talking again later. Right. I'm gonna be quiet now, <laughs> but I'll be talking again <laughs> straight up. Mm. I ain't got no problem with it. You gonna lead, lead. Please do your lead. thing. But just know that Listen, I'm not what allowing you. What say? If you can tell me what to do, then you can tell me what to do. That's right. All right. But if you can't tell me what the fuck to do, you, you can't, can't tell me what, what the, the fuck to, to do. do. Come on, church. <laughs> <laughs> because who the fuck? Mm. Seriously. Yeah. Well, who the fuck? I'm sorry, what? Not baby hands or nostrils or, or the couch. couch. <laughs> or red shirt. Because clearly they're, they're not around. So, well, not around heavily, I should say, because they're around. Ain't nobody the fuck around but me. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. And my twice is nice. Shout out to me, me for the twice is nice. Hey, shout out to comercandycloset.com. Get Sorry. you where you need to be <laughs> real quick. <laughs> 30 seconds or less, my nigga. Right. <laughs> I said, all right, now I can go to school. Right. <laughs> 30 seconds or less. Huh? 30 seconds or less. Get you where get you where you need to be. <laughs> For real. Like if you can't fall asleep, she make sure she plugged up. Charge it for a good 10, 15 minutes. <laughs> Listen. I mean 10, 15 minutes for 30 seconds. That's you know, that works. I mean, but you gotta be on like the Third. Mm-hmm. I was about to say third or fourth. Yeah. No, because the fourth one kind of irritates. I ain't gonna check. Depends on this depends on where you're trying to go though. It's what speed you need to be on. I don't like that. I mean, like <laughs> to the moon. Like what? <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that one. Oh, okay. Yeah, that, that one is annoying. That one is definitely annoying. Like cat licks and shit. Like, get the fuck <laughs> on. <laughs> Anywho. <laughs> 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 no, but really though, that it's I'm really like learning you know, some interesting things. Do what the fuck you gonna do or get the fuck on. Like, <laughs> no, I'm gonna be running, and you gonna <laughs> think it's good, and it's not. <laughs> Let's proceed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So the the next question is: Have you ever ignored a DNR? We gonna let Denise say. <laughs> Just told y'all I was a little clingy, so or a lot, a little. <laughs> yep, ignore- she- <laughs> <laughs> ignored a couple of DNRs. <laughs> For you, damn, they gotta block me from all of the things. That's rough. <laughs> That's, that's, so, that's scary. So I get fucking tired of it. Like, okay, you know what? That's not mind. even toxic at this point. That's that's <laughs> beyond toxic. toxic. That's restraining it. <laughs> but you're gonna have to give us a little more information. I ain't got no more information. <laughs> Who you been stalking, Denise? I ain't stalking nobody in the in the last year. I have been, <laughs> I have been good in the last year, not before that. Last year. Last three hundred the last three hundred and sixty five days consecutively. I have Are not, you sure? Yeah. Hmm. I let I let stuff go now. That was the old me. I'm trying to grow by day what about by day. This summer. Yeah. Well, look, I'm trying to think. What did I do this summer? No. We know what you did this summer. <laughs> not, <laughs> not, we know what you did this summer. <laughs> we know. <laughs> oh here. Yeah. Look, I, I want to tell y'all to refresh my memory because I don't, don't know. Don't be what the fuck I did. We know, don't we? I don't I ain't know. Gonna refresh our memory. Okay, well, sure. I'm I just saying nothing. I ain't do nothing this summer to you. <laughs> <laughs> Denise was out here this summer. Oh, I was I was kind of out here this summer. I was just partying. I was just living life. That's all. I just had a good time this summer. My summer was filled I would with... say Denise is persistent. Because that yellow shirt, 
<laughs> Remember that yellow shirt? <laughs> yeah. I ain't gonna say she she ain't stalked, but she did I her did. research after she was persistent. Yeah, I did. I was like, oh, all right. Mm-hmm. And that I won't even say I DNR him. And he didn't hurt me. He probably should have DNR'd <laughs> me, but he shouldn't have gave life to the situation. There you go. Shouldn't have even been a DNR to begin with, but you know. Definitely did my research and I just fell by the wayside. I won't say I DNR'd him, but yeah, no, that's it's a no go. But I was persistent from a distance though. At first. <laughs> you believe her? No, nah, no. Nah, you nah. was with me, bitch. <laughs> in that situation. We talking about in general. Oh, okay. In general, I don't believe you. In that situation, I was there. So it's like, yeah, cool, I get you. But in general, I don't believe you. I don't believe nothing you just said. No, for real though. I'm actually, believe it or not. I don't shoot my shot. I'm very shy. I'm. I don't do that. Since the fuck when? I don't. She actually is very shy. In that in that aspect, you know what? I only, understand that. Only in in that aspect. I do. Like I know I'm bold. I'm loud. I'm whatever. You, but I. But am, I've, I've seen Denise. In I action. am shy. Like about like I will never. I never shoot my shot ever. Denise is one of those. <laughs> hey, geek me up real quick. Okay, that's all I needed. Like, I didn't even get a chance to put the fucking words together. All right, good. So I got it. She, she, but she's I'm a, talking. We, we but was at Rockfield 502 a lot this fucking summer. We was. Picking and up old men? Hell no, the niggas was old. old. Oh, that's old. The young men at 502 now? Yeah, oh, only, on only on on Thursdays on the porch when they had oh, the band. So okay. oh, okay, okay, it, okay. was, it was a little bit of everybody down there then. No, hell, I don't want them old men. All I want is the money. Old men got worms. <laughs> All right, so we go. This is the second time we've had to pull the plug on the fucking episode. Yeah. And it, it, it's been the Europeans. <laughs> the Europeans. The Europeans. Oh, that's because Thanksgiving coming up. Yeah, oh, I got to Y'all still in all kind of shit. This year. Never mind. No, just... I'm going to make some potato salad with some raisins. You bet the fuck not. <laughs> you bet the fuck not. Put a little marshmallows on my... Marshmallow special uh, little tuna casserole. <laughs> marshmallows on my sweet potatoes. That shit is not funny. <laughs> heavy all. mayo. Heavy, heavy mayo. Some German potato salad. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all <Yeah, right. laughs> <laughs> the black one is not amused because that sounds fucking disgusting. Oh, some <laughs> turkey with some salt and pepper on it. <laughs> what DC Young Fly say? Salt and pepper is not seasoning. <laughs> some little, cranberry sauce with the actual cranberries. Some Mrs. Dash seasoning, some salt and pepper, and some stuffing on the on the stove yeah, top. Gotta have some stuffing. Stuffing, mm-hmm. stuffing on the stove top, you know. Yeah. Some right, cranberry some sauce with the actual right. dried cranberries in there. <laughs> read read the question been, again. That's been passed down from generation to generation. <laughs> make sure you have the make sure you have heavy on the cranberries. <laughs> nope. I'm not doing this with All y'all. Right. I, I, I'm pulling the plug on that bullshit. <laughs> on unseasoned chicken. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then we're gonna have some. What's it called? Look, she pate. Pat, what is it called? That's that raw hamburger meat and onions. Oh yeah, that. <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> the gra- the gra- tartar. <laughs> tartar. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, sorry. On the cracker. We, on, I was on a rich cracker. One of the, we or way. <laughs> sorry, we got way off. Oh, why this don't work? So, yeah, but anyway, working. all right. So let me read. read Wait, no, because I had a sign for that. Okay. Man, sit your dumb ass down. <laughs> Not telling them unplugged our buttons. Ooh, we, all right. We we back on task, girl. We back on track. So the question is, have you ever ignored a DNR? I'm pretty sure I have. I'm 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 pretty toxic sometimes. Yeah, so I definitely recently me and my guy had an argument and he was like, You need to stay at home. I said, Yeah, I'll be there in an hour. <laughs> Because I don't care fuck? what you talking All about. Right. <laughs> you Listen. ain't talking about okay. nothing. <laughs> I'll be there in one hour, bro. <laughs> My guy, I'll see you in an hour. I don't care what you talking about. I'll be there. No, so you know. when I <laughs> <laughs> I worked at this one job and we like everybody in the company knew this girl got fired. 
she didn't care. Her fob still works. She came to fucking work the next day. And we all working, looking like, so, <laughs> so we just going to let her work. Like, nobody going to say something. Clearly, she ignored the DNR. She ignored the fuck out of it. And, and I asked she her. Did. And I was just like, um, did she? She was a temp, too. So it was that. So I'm like, did the temp agency call you last night or anybody from HR? She was like, yep, I didn't answer. <laughs> and I was like, huh? She said, I already know they're trying to fire me. She said, but if I don't answer and they didn't leave a voicemail, then they can't say that uh, they fired me. Oh, okay, she said, well. I need at least one more check Damn. or at least a couple more hours. She said, I'm going to keep coming until they lock the door. Like she was well, duh. They have was enough sense to to serious. stop the fire or cut they, the fire bar. They right. let her, but then if we all coming in, we work the same fucking shift. She can just walk in with one of us, right? But like she dead ass was like, fuck them. They I can, need some more. She can, was serious. Like I need more money. Our, her her login and okay, whatever. We worked in the factory. <laughs> oh, okay. We well, we I need to money. hear the rest of this story. Like literally, <laughs> I have to go ask like the guy that that was the supposed to be manager at the time, like. Danny, you scared? Like, you scared of her? He was just like, well, we're just trying to figure out um, the best plan of action so we don't get fired. I mean, we don't get sued. And I'm looking at him like, nigga, y'all y'all fired her. Y'all called. It's the, the state tip. of Wisconsin. You don't need a reason. You just right. fired. Just told me they already had a reason to mm -hmm. fire her. But he was saying, like, they can't technically discontinue her work because they would have to go through the temp AC and if the temp AC hadn't let her know. I said, so y'all just gonna let her sit in here and punk y'all. So basically she done this before. That's what it sounded like right. to me. I mean, like, I went over there and I asked her. I'm like, so she like, I know they trying to fire me. I don't care. I need some more money. And I'm not mad at her for saying like, shit, I need some more mm -hmm. money. I got kids at home. But it was just like, okay. I, I literally was like, oh, okay. Yeah. So how they get rid of her? They let her finish that. No, I don't think they let her finish the entire day, but they did like they had to call the tip agency and had to have somebody come up to the job to have a face to face conversation. She was just like, Well, can I finish the week? Like she was dead serious. Like she was asking questions and everything. Like, so can I finish the week? Like, can I finish what I was doing? Can I finish the day? Like, I need as many hours as I can get. And when she kept saying like that, I felt bad. Like, damn, I wonder what her it was real a reason, yeah. home life is like. But it was just like, she dead ass is like not caring that y'all fire her. Wow. Like, she was dead serious. Like, bitch, I got kids at home. They got me fucked up. I'm working today. Yeah. I need these well, hours. This, um, I don't think, I don't feel like she wrong. <laughs> I mean, technically, she, legally, she was probably <laughs> wrong. Black in me, she, she wasn't wrong. She wasn't wrong. Exactly. It's one of those you got to hit the season on the counter. They really don't expire type of thing. Yeah. Um, I had worked at this other job, set, kind of similar thing. This one lady, I don't know what she was thinking, but she did what she did. She had access to the company bar. And so she. What kind of job was this? It was. I work. I used to work for Rockwell Automation, and they have like this tower okay. or whatever, and it's like a whole. It's a whole room up there, of mm. like a party room or whatever. So That's she had room? access to it because she, <laughs> <laughs> because she was like the admin for the mm -hmm. higher ups or whatever. So she had access to it because she would help with the parties. Mm. And so um, security was doing their rounds, and they went up there, and she was up there with a man. And they had had them some drinks off the cabinet. And, Damn. You know, they was doing some other things or whatever. She so was entertaining. She was entertaining. Was the yes. man an employee? No, he was not an employee. And he wasn't her husband. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the teacher. I'm like, it's a, it's a plot twist. <laughs> so she hey, was entertaining. ZZ. And they asked her what was going on. And she <laughs> ran and tried to get away or whatever. And Damn. that was on a Friday night. She came to work on Monday. Oh, she was a city girl. <laughs> <laughs> like, you really thought wow. <laughs> that that wasn't going to get reported? <laughs> you really showed up to work on Monday acting like you didn't understand what the problem was? So she for sure ignored that DNR. I, I probably ignore DNRs all the time because don't fucking try to break up with me. Like, if, if it's a job, then all right, cool. It is what it is because... I'm a great employee and I get jobs like that, but don't try to break up with me, Andre. And like for my <laughs> friends, like bitch, we in this for life. Like you not going nowhere. Right. Like whole so life. Don't try to break up with me. 
Denise, <laughs> Ruthia. I know, we like, go together. <laughs> real, real bad. bad. <laughs> but like, no, for real, like, don't don't try to break up with me. The fuck? It ain't over until I say it's over. And it ain't over, so the fuck? Until I get tired of the shit. Like, eventually, you know, I'm going to get tired of you ignoring me. <laughs> but no, for real, like, don't don't DNR my shit, because I'm the boss. I'm I'm telling you when the shit it is and when it ain't. Now, in other times, if it's toxic to me, then please do. Yeah. No, no, no. Cut me all the way off. You know what? Going back to the other question, somebody did ghost me. That shit was so. Don't that make you mad? No, it didn't. Oh, see, I, it I, was. I, I, I ain't like pissed. that. In the first couple of hours, I was concerned because he was a truck driver. Right. But then once it was just like, dang, okay, I wonder what happened, and I found out the truth. I was like relieved, like, <laughs> like relieved that they that they ghosted they were okay, you, okay, or relieved that they ghosted you because or both. I was relieved that. They ghosted me. Like, all right, so another story time. Whatever. <laughs> all right, so we got to add that now. Story time. Right. I do this a lot. I met this dude. So I don't know if y'all, Denise, you might have been like she was going to rap. I <laughs> met this dude. That was the intro. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure, Denise, you was in the Where Bay at group. Yeah. So, you know, everybody was in there. Where Ooh, baby? Child, listen. <laughs> oh, my God. Look, look, I don't know nothing about that. I can't that, even okay. remember his fucking name because it, it really don't matter. But when I say he was whining and dining me, I mean coming with gifts, picking me up, teddy bears, flowers, candy. Like, what did he buy me? He bought, he bought me something. It was nice as a bitch, too. Like, I think I had said something about, like, I like to journal. He bought me journal. Like, all kind of shit. Like, he was whining and dining the fuck out of me. Take him, taking me on great dates. Like, I told him, like, I don't like being outside in the cold. He made sure the car was heated, that the seats was heated. Like, he was doing all of the things. We was talking uh, stop. He was a truck driver, or so he said, or whatever the situation mm. was. But he told me that he was recently divorced. He used to live in Florida. Um, Sounds good. I mean, like, gave me paperwork. Like, oh. here's the paperwork. I know people don't normally believe me. I'm up here. I had to move up here because uh, my mom is sick and this, this, and that. I'm just like, I don't give a fuck. Like, whatever. <laughs> I'm a, I don't know you to judge you, so I'm going to take whatever you say to me at face value. Yeah. And we were talking one day, and I was at, um, shout out to Crystal, I was at one of her uh, rehearsals for um, Miracle on the Runway. We was talking, he was like, all right, I'm finna go get in the shower, I gotta get on the road in a little bit. After that, I never heard from him. And it was just like, damn, I hope he's okay, I hope he didn't get into a car accident. And then I was telling uh, P3 about the situation, and Mia was like, that sounds familiar. Like, uh -oh. what you mean? He did what? How he looked? And I'm describing him to her. She like, that happened to one of my other friends. Oh. Oh, come to find So he man. was a serial dater. But he was spending <laughs> money. The crazy part was the friend that Mia knew, um, the wife had reached oh. out and was like, we're going through a separation. He's only up there because he got caught up here in Florida. Damn. He was sleeping with other women and giving them diseases. <gasps> I never slept with him. I literally never kissed the man. Like, right. I gave him a hug that one time. Like, he was so sweet. And it was just like, oh, thank God. Thank you, Jesus. Literally, because when I say he ghosted mm. me, and I really believe now that it was, he. the reason why he ghosted me was because he thought that he was going to get caught up on his end. But it was like, well, thanks for all the gifts and shit. Like... I Thanks got, for not giving me a disease. Hello? <laughs> Listen, I got so much shit out of the situation. It was like, well, I had a couple nice dates. I got some gifts, and you know, it is what it is. Like, maybe girl, I, here goes some money to fill up your tank. Here's this. Oh, then you say you had this going on. Oh, here goes some money for that. He bought tickets to the show. Period. Okay. Matter of fact, he didn't buy the ticket to the show. He gave me the money to buy the tickets for him, and it was I left his name at the door. Mm. And Crystal was like, he never came. You want your money back? And do. Thank you. Please. Straight up. Thank you very much. Yeah. Man. Yeah. I was like, who dodged that bullet? Right. But literally at first, I was like, oh my God, I hope he's okay. He a truck driver. It's late and this and that. But <clears throat> mm. B 
big G-O-D yeah, upstairs was looking right up. up. Right. Listen, protect you from danger seen and unseen, right? <laughs> Listen. <laughs> That's scary. So y'all was talking about, have have you ever ignored a DNR? Has somebody ever ignored a <clears throat> DNR that you, that you sent? Like, have we not been talking like, about no. nostrils? <laughs> Red oh, okay. Couch, well, baby hair. Well, I know. We already said, All we already said dude was in your, I didn't know saying how like with the right person that blocking and unblocking shit can be sexy. I, no. like, I like that a little bit of toxicity. I don't. I don't. A little bit of toxicity that blocking and unblocking shit is for the birds. Now, I it was a reason no. that I didn't, first of all, I didn't even get blocked. I'm sorry, I did not block them. I got blocked, but I didn't block them. But it was I probably I've should never, I probably should have blocked them though. So all of this shit could have never just been. knowingly been blocked though. However, well, the one dude that let him tell it, she she unfriended you. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> but the day that his page, quote unquote, unfriended me. I can't stand a weak nigga. <laughs> her page started it. following me. And it was just like, hey, girl. I cannot stand I ain't going to lie. I, sometimes I like it a little toxic. With with my uncurrent situation, the the one I'm I'm re, I'm currently trying to pull the plug from, that shit is toxic and I like it. Which is why you can't pull the plug. Well, I I can't. I you gotta can't take lie. it day by day. That shit is is. Mm. I mean, I've definitely been in a toxic situation, but I I can't do it. Anymore. I just I don't have the patience. I don't have the. I'm not doing it. I just I refuse. Now I do like I know, a little bit of you know you be a jerk sometimes. I'm cool with that, but I, I, and I'm toxic. I'm toxic the right blocking, now, the unblocking. I'm not. I can't do that. I'm posting shit just to piss the motherfucker off because mm -hmm. I know you're looking. No, nope. I'm you doing wanna, that. If you, you want to watch, what I'm I learned give you a the show. best thing for me is I ignore you. You know, people don't like to be ignored. I will ignore I you him. so he, he hard. Might have... No, he a little crazy. Yeah. I'm ignoring you, so I don't. I don't need him showing up at my house. Not at my house. In my house, he had a key once before. Mm. He gave me a key back. That don't mean he. he <laughs> that does not mean that he did not make a copy. Okay, well, because that's been a ha ha joke <laughs> once before. Like I gave you your key back. That don't mean I ain't get another copy made. Right. Like don't let another. Oh, nigga that sounds so here. familiar to me. That happened to me. <laughs> so I'm just like. That happened Ooh. to me. I left um, when I was married. I had left my husband. <laughs> like literally left, packed up the way till he left because I knew he was going to be out in the street for a couple of days and literally packed up my you stuff and moved. A runaway wife? Yes. <laughs> packed Not up my stuff bride, and moved. a runaway wife because they had already been married. <laughs> right. So I had... That's rough. I just... I, I was just messing up. Like not... Cause you know I was moving too fast, and so I had left the coat that had the like the lease <laughs> in the pocket. Oh, to the new place. Damn, and popped up like, on your ass. <laughs> hey, <laughs> this our this our new house, <laughs> right? <This laughs> our, that's exactly what he was like. Oh, that's this where we live now. Right, I like him. <laughs> No, <laughs> did you take my shit? Too? <laughs> right. you, you know you left my stuff. <laughs> I don't believe I like this. Oh, it's, it's a little far from my job. <laughs> why? Why does bear? Why is the whole house pink? <laughs> I'm about to go get the moving truck. I'll be back. <laughs> That's some toxic shit. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's a real life. Like I no, Damn. he would not go away. You know, then it, it happened twice. Then another time I had changed the locks on the house. So he waited Ooh. until my daughter was coming home from school and came in the house. With her. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, that sounded like some Helen and Charles stuff. And then, Helen was not trying to accept that DNR. Charles had Right, he was like, "Bitch, your shoes uh, in right. the truck already." She was like, "Charles, That's it's rough. me, Charles." <laughs> I feel so, bad yeah. for Helen. <laughs> so he came in with my daughter and then took her house keys and got it. Oh, oh, damn, like, yeah, that just means that Nicole <laughs> got that, you know, that watch. Mm -hmm. 
No comment. <laughs> Just say, well, you know, <laughs> it happens here and there. That's like, no man. <laughs> no, but if somebody, I'm I'm learning now that if somebody gonna DNR me, just don't 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 try to slowly do it or don't don't try to hide the shit. Just say that shit, like because if you tell me straight up, like I want to fuck with you, it's fine as the fuck I am. Right. If yo. a motherfucker say that you don't want to fuck with me, you think you're not gonna be left alone immediately in that moment. But it be the the playing around with it for me, like yeah. listen, sir, I don't got time for the playing around and back and forth to well maybe and if I do it this way no. don't spare my feelings because if you're don't. going to cut me off cut me off you're right. not you're not thinking about my feelings anyway right but cut I me mean, cut me off don't ghost me but cut me off say hey you know but say that shit say this it not your working chest. yeah little ass be a nigga. man about it that's why I said I hate a weak nigga for real say, say it, it your little ass but I did I definitely got ghosted by this one dude um the guy I was dating a guy from New York and I have I was supposed you, to go there. Yeah. You like okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I was supposed to go shout to out New to York. Madison because I had one too. Like that I sometimes. remember that. <laughs> but we had plans. I was supposed to fly that it was like the fourth of July. This was some years back. And he went to see his his family in Atlantic City and then he was coming back and then I was gonna fly to New York and was gonna meet up with him. So yeah. Some time go by, I don't hear nothing. And I'm like, I'm not, I'm Did not you pay a for the flight person. already, huh? Did you pay for the flight already? Well, how we were doing it was I would pay for the flight and then he would send me the money back. <clears throat> like, that's how he would do it, you know. And it hadn't mm-hmm. been an issue before, so I ain't think nothing about it being an issue then. So, um, the time came and he was, I couldn't get him on the phone, but I'm also not clingy. So I'm like, he with his family. I'm that not going. That was a going. shot. <laughs> was like, no, bitch. I, that ain't no shot. <laughs> but, but I'm not um, clingy. But I'm saying All I'm right. not. So I was like, he with his family. Like, I don't feel like he need to talk to me 15 times a day. He he doing his yeah, thing. Yeah. I'll catch him. I'm going to see him in New York in a couple of days. So it ain't no big deal to me. But then when the time was getting closer and I, he wasn't calling, he wasn't answering or he wasn't texting or anything. So I'm like, okay, what's going on? So then I'm like, hey. This flight leave tomorrow. You're going to need to say something. And so he never responded to me. Mm. And so obviously I didn't go. So what I did was I sent him a request on Cash App for my money. I'm Period. Like, okay. Said, excuse back, excuse back, so. me. Matter of fact, let me send my request to my yeah. Cash App now. I was like, At I'm this like, point. Because I still ain't got paid. Like, oh. We ain't got paid. It's currently 8, 8.01 yeah. p.m. So. And the Cash App has not come through. <laughs> My phone ain't Still ding dry, once. Right? Dry. Mm. So yeah. So <sighs> damn. Don't ghost me. Just tell me. Just be like, Let you know me, what? For real. I'm, Just be honest. Simple. It's fine. I got one. Because all I'm gonna do is block you and keep it moving. I'm not gonna harass you. I'm not gonna stalk you. I'm not gonna try to call you. I'm not gonna beg you. I'm not gonna do none of that. All right. All right. Just tell tell me what it is and tell me what it ain't. Cool. Right, so I got one more story time, right? And I'm not gonna <laughs> <laughs> Story time. Story time with Ruthia. <laughs> I'm not going to say this man's name. On the pod. Out of respect because... Let me just get into the story. <laughs> Is you going to get into the story or not? Because I'm, I'm really trying to see like how to start this. So, it was an older guy. Very handsome. You know, got the, the nice grays in his beard like you know wisdom and all this other stuff he was super cool but for whatever reason like we have been off and on trying to make this connection and we just be like oh, okay we had a good time on this date or every time we connect and be like oh, okay well, you was cool it was fun but then after that it's like either i don't talk to him or he don't talk to me so it was kind of like both of us like just like something's missing and just recently we went on a date and He's engaged. Oh, oh wow. now, like, we went on a date this year. He has been engaged since then. So, out of respect for his new um, family situation, I'm not gonna say his name. But damn, like, sorry, you. I had a situation like that. Say that shit though. Like, I'm, I'm dating, and I'm. I don't know if the girl he's with now or the woman, I should say, because she's not young. Um, is this was a, a relationship he had already been dealing with a woman or like they was in between breaks or whatever. Like if 
you want to kick it with me during your break? Say that shit. Yeah. The chicken was good. Like <laughs> we wouldn't have wings. The shit was cracking. But say that's what we that. call in our chicken. <laughs> no, I definitely <laughs> never. <laughs> <laughs> and it's crazy because so one of the times <laughs> we were supposed to go hang out and it was on me because I didn't I didn't I was sick as a bitch I ended up having getting COVID and I think I was we was recording one day and I was just like I'm supposed to go on a date with this man but I'm not feeling good I'm gonna go and get tested and I end up going to get tested and they told me I didn't have COVID but I'm like well I'm like sick as a bitch mm-hmm. and I wasn't feeling good enough to even reach out to him and then once he found out I had COVID, it was like, all right, well, when you feeling better, we'll, you know what I'm saying, reconnect. And we'll do the off and on, but it's always like, I really want to like you. And I felt, he felt the same way. Like, I really want to like you, but it was just something that just wasn't working. Mm-hmm. And now he's yeah, engaged. his fiance, that's what wasn't working. Listen, Listen, but it wasn't working for me either. It was like, okay, he's cool. Like You probably uh, was sensing it though. You know, you. I, no intuition, I sent something huh? that happened similar to that. And I gave dude an out because I noticed that, you know, communication kind of started dwindling around. So I was like, okay, you know, I was is everything the free meals? Is everything good? We ain't really, we ain't doing nothing. I ain't fuck dude. We just went out on a couple of dates, food, drinks, real surface shit. Cool, whatever. And it, but I also noticed that the communication started dwindling down. I'm like, I gave dude an out. Like, hey, you know, something going on, you good. Instead of jumping off the deep end and cussing them smooth the fuck out, <laughs> in in Denise fashion, right? So I was trying, I was trying to be chill, trying to be mm. nice, just in the nice. Is everything okay? You know, I noticed the energy change, energy shifted. Is everything okay? Are we good? Are you good? Oh no, it's cool. Everything is cool. Whatever, whatever. And then I'm pretty sure that was our last conversation. And then three months later, he was engaged. So, oh well, okay. That's that's why the energy shifted. Okay, well, congratulations. <laughs> Shout out to all my exes or people I ever dated that's still trying to fuck me. Mm. Married and unmarried. <clears throat> <laughs> they DNR'd. <laughs> I just said shout out to them. I didn't <laughs> say I was doing all of them. <laughs> we just Me like that. Maybe just one. <laughs> Maybe just one. Maybe just one or two. <laughs> just one whenever he make his way back up here. <laughs> Is it, was that the last question? Do we have one more? That was it. Oh, that was the last question? Oh, okay. Mm. <laughs> so, in, in wrapping it up. I'm the sorry, fuck? but I have a toy. I don't need to wrap it up. Oh, okay. Say that shit. <laughs> <laughs> you walked right into that one, Tom. <laughs> and again, shout out, shout out to Mimi. Cumber Walker, if you're nasty. Cumber's Candy Who? Well, I'm not. No, I'm, that's, that's the response I always say after she says that. Oh, I'm gonna say I'm. I'm a sweet innocent. I'm not, not the sweet innocent one. That's a damn lie. You are a sour. Yeah, I would. I'll take that. Yeah, I'm the sweet innocent one. <laughs> you oh, damn sure like the sweet innocent one, and we all know that shit ain't me. So there's that. There is no. <laughs> I'm a jawbreaker. <laughs> Dang, sour patch a draw jawbreaker. And what? And oh, what wait. am I like? So what does that leave me? Chico stick. No. What the hell? Chico stick. Wait. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> that is a name we do not say on this podcast. <laughs> right. No, thank we you. We don't use that name here. All right. So, go okay. my, my wrap it up. Calls so, what, what's what's the what's the word I'm looking for? You did you just say this fool name? And <laughs> <laughs> In closing, I don't know what the hell I was going to say. I'm not even going to lie. Well, what we DNR in this week? No, it was something else I was going to say in between there. I forgot. You got anything you want to you yep. DNR? Muffins playing with my money. <laughs> I had a DNR. Let me play, play on my money is like playing with my emotions, Smokey. I'll second that. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
Damn, I'm bad because I really forgot what I was going to say before we DNR. But this week I am pulling the plug on not showing, not always showing up as my highest self. Okay. Mm, that's good. Yep. Make sure y'all following us on all of the things and, and Facebook. I'm, gonna get, I'm like, I'm going to get the Facebook page Denise together. Gets her shit together. Even though we had this planned out way before the pilot episode. Um, and I had the Facebook page together, but I have to delete it and revamp it so that it can be tagged. So we're going to DNR excuses at this point. Oh, okay. Well, that's it. Yeah. Put a plug. <laughs>